All right, guys, we're going to have a little bit of a laugh at people having a little bit of a face a face mask meltdown, a face masks uh, stupidity. Um, incredible moment. Incredible, incredible moment. Idiot explains she has cut holes in her face mask because it makes it easier to breathe. Not joking about that one. And we also have this guy here. Who uh, who's actually wears a KKK hood while shopping? <sighs> Let's jump into both these stories. So uh, a store clerk was left amazed by a customer who cut holes in her face mask because it makes it easier to breathe. Joe Salmon was working his shift at the SJ Food Market outside of Lexington, Kentucky, when a woman came in wanting to asking to pay for gas. But unlike the hundreds of other customers Joe sees on a daily basis, the holes in this woman's protective face mask, which left her mouth and nose exposed, caught his eye. Footage shows the woman approaching the counter and asking, Hi there, can I get tan on pump one, please? Uh, Joe does the customer transaction before asking, Where did they get that mask from? So you can see the video has been playing there. You can see there. Um, well, since I have to wear them and it does make it hard to breathe, this cutting it makes it a lot easier to breathe, she replies. Shocked by her response, Joe replies, cutting it, as the woman nods in agreement. Yeah, sure, I'll do that too. Thanks for the advice, he says, deadpan as the woman leaves the store. The video has been viewed by 4.2 million times with many commenting in amazement at the woman's ignorance. The US Center for Disease Control and Prevention urges all Americans to wear face masks in public to help limit the spread of beer bug. In New York, Governor Andrew Cuomo has ordered all residents to wear masks or face, covering, or face coverings in public if they cannot stay six feet apart. The number in Kentucky's uh, new beer bug cases increased by 253 over the weekend, bringing the state's total to at least 5,130. Revealing in the figures on Sunday, Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir added that the infection curve remains plateaued. Overall, the number is, again, right around where we've been seeing, although our test has been ramped up, the governor said. It suggests the worst have been... At the, so, it suggests at worst we, we have plateaued. However, it's believed that the figures released on Sunday are lower than the average because many preceding labs were closed. Do I need to explain to anybody the problem with her cutting a hole in a face mask? I really hope I don't. Okay, I'm not gonna. We just. I'm going to assume that everybody that's watching this channel understands why that's bad. Um, but hey, another guy has a different opinion on it. Um, so this is actually kind of a bad story because it doesn't actually show the mask itself. Let me see. There was another story I saw. Um, let's see if this one's any better. So, uh, a man wears KKK hood to grocery store after county orders public to wear masks. At least he's wearing a mask, I suppose. But anyway. Officials in San Diego County are condemning a man who was pictured wearing a Ku Klux Klan hood while shopping at a supermarket one day after the city implemented a new beer bug health order requiring everyone to cover the face while entering a business, according to Los Angeles Times. Pictured of the man wearing the white hood 
while shopping inside a Vaughn store in San Diego County, city a, a city of Santa Berrigan circulated on social media over the weekend. At least one photo also shows the man who appears to be a white middle-aged standing behind a car with a hood, without a hood, sorry. A corporate spokesman for the grocery store told the Los Angeles Times the employees repeatedly asked the shopper to remove the hood or leave the store. Okay. When the supervisor asked the man once he was in a checkout line to take off the hood or leave, the man removed the hood, purchased his items and left the store. This was a disturbing incident for our associates and customers and we were reviewing with our team on the best handle the situation, uh, handle such inappropriate situations in the future. Uh, it, uh, look, obviously he's an idiot, right? But was it really that bad? Really? What, worst case scenario, what did he do? But if I had a seen it, let me ask you this. If you had a sore man walking around a supermarket with a KKK hood on because he wanted to protect himself from beer hug, beer bug, what would you do? Would you run in fear or would you piss yourself laughing? Because I would probably do the second, but regardless. You yeah, know, that's me. I'm, I'm Aussie. We tend to find a lot of things funny, I suppose. Uh, it was describing... Uh, uh, the incident has prompted outrage from the mayor and a head of the Anti-Defamation -Def League in San Diego and others. There was an incident in Sanity on Saturday where a citizen photographed a white male wearing a tire that depicts the symbol of hate. San Diego Mayor John Marinto said in a statement, The citizens and Vaughn's employees took steps to address the situation, Many thanks to all who stepped forward to curtail this sad reminder of intolerance. Sanity is a leader and will... Sorry, Sanity, its leaders, and I will not tolerate such behaviour. Oh, this is the internet. You really do believe that if you say that, no one is going to turn up with more hoods, right? Like, come on, guys. It's the internet. You are literally baiting 4chan to do this right now. County Supervisor Diane Jacobs, who represents Sanity and other and other East community uh, East Country communities, condemned the men's actions. The images I've seen are abhorrent, she said in a statement. Had to be a woman, didn't it? This blatant of something or other has no place in Sanity or any part of San Diego County. It's not who we are. It's not what we stand for, and we can't and it can't be tolerated. Tommy Gerald Gerald one must pronouncing regional director of the anti defense of course the ADL has been involved in this the ADL in the San Diego area tweeted a photo of the man saying San Diego is no place for hate San Diego is also a history as a something and something motivated attacks earning it the nickname Clenty or and Sankaki, according to the LA Times. San Diego kicked off orders May 1st, requiring everyone to cover their faces in public and if they came within six feet of other people. To me, okay, I think this guy was trolling people. I really do think he was trolling people. He was like, hell, you're going to make me wear a face mask? I'm going to wear this. You ordered me to wear it, so at the end of the day, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna buy it online or whatever he's done with it, or he's pulled it out of his closet or whatever it is, and he's wore it as a statement to say, "You're gonna make me wear a face mask. I'll wear this." I don't really think this guy is a member of the, you know what. And at the end of the day, I think he's trolling people when he does this. And to be honest, the media giving him the attention that they have is probably what he was after. He was after these articles that come out about this, right? Like I've got two articles here. And on my aggregate that I use, it is literally just like, there's like five different companies all talking about this. 
If this guy's idea was to get attention... He, he's definitely got it. He definitely got the attention that he wanted. So congratulations, you just fed a troll. Like... But, yeah, but at the end of the day... I... I like I said, I just think he was doing it just to troll people. So, you know, congratulations on buying into it, I suppose. Because let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Look, I'm not saying this guy was right to do what he did. Obviously, he's wrong for doing it, right? He's an idiot, sure. But he's an idiot. Are we really at that point where we're going to run in fear of idiots? Personally, like I said, if I had a sword, I probably would have cracked up laughing and called him an idiot. And that's about it. But let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, we'll see you in the third video. And uh, it's not about... Oh, actually, no, it is about beer bug. God damn it. Have a great night. Enjoy. But it's a good video. It's a good one. It's about protests. You'll like that one.